Whistler and Brasseur became world champions in 1993. To get there, Isabel crossed some very difficult ground. The 92 is a really bad year. I mean, everything in my life was really not good. And starting the 8th of January, I lost my grandfather. And it was the first person, like, close to me that was dying. And in the Olympics, we didn't skate that good, and there was a lot of pressure in it, everything. And in Worlds, again, we didn't skate that good. So then we were wondering if we would keep going or not. Then we had the decision to make, and that was really hard on us. And then um, later on, it was my dad that, that died. So all that year was really hard. As fathers can, Gil Bresser gave to Isabel her whole life. That hasn't stopped. Actually, all the pressure has changed completely when Isabel's father died. We talked about um, Gil almost every day, you know. He came up in conversation, he'd come up on the ice. Isabel would cry because obviously that's how she was feeling. It would last, you know, five, six minutes and she'd feel better. Even though for five or six minutes you'd think the world had ended, five or six minutes later she'd say, oh, okay, I feel better, let's go on. And it's terrible to say that someone's death could actually help you, but in a lot of ways, it helped us look at our skating a whole lot differently than let's go out there and perform for someone else. Let's just go out there and have fun and do what we like to do. When that happens, the results are breathtaking. When everything works, they are strong, unbeatable. So it was in March in Prague. All the week at Prague was like a, a dream week. <laughs> practices you know everything was like right on and it was the same for the competition we just uh went on the ice and uh we said to each other well just do like practice it's nothing different it's the same program and everything i personally didn't really realize that i was at the world and i just won the gold i mean i went on the podium and the only thing i was crying for is that my dad wasn't there because I skated so good and he always dreamed that I skated so good. So that's the only thing I was sad about, but all the rest, it was like, like everything just flew, everything was so beautiful and I would do anything to live it back again. To taste victory and to feel her father's presence. He loved skating so much when he was alive that I don't think he would have missed this moment for anything in the world. I remember the last Olympics um, when I came off, he looked at me and he's like, I can't believe how you did it. He's like, there was so much pressure around, like he could feel it too in the stands. And like, there was so much pressure. I mean, you're a, good, a big girl. So I think that he was there, like, probably to, trying to take the pressure away. And I think he's probably going to be there at Olympics too. Skating for gold, 